Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a mid-evening, mid-south, mid-morning to evening, afternoon, sometime in their weather update. Time is just past 8 o'clock in the evening, and things are a little bit better where our forecast is concerned into the rest of the night. We do not see anything at this point in time uh, in the way of immediately developing showers or thunderstorms for portions of the area, so definitely some good news on that. Likewise, we have just gotten some very good news news from the Storm Prediction Center that the threat for severe weather, while it has not gone away entirely, it is going to, again, be reduced by quite a lot, and that's definitely good news for overnight purposes. And, of course, we'll be watching that a lot throughout the next few hours as we go toward News Channel 3 at 10 and afterwards. We still have the possibility of some thunderstorms out there, and a couple of those could be strong to, again, around borderline severe. So we do need to keep our eyes on that, which we will be doing here, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3. Updates on the forecast. If you can't tune in for the whole thing for our Weather Overtime video blog, all you have to do is read the red bar at the bottom of the screen with the information scrolling on by, or go to this website, wreg.com com slash weather for more details as to what's going on in and around the Mid-South. If you're just joining us, thanks for stopping on by and taking a look around. Make sure you drop your location. City and state will be fine and give us a weather report, temperature, rain gauge amounts from today. If you had any storm damage, we'd love to hear about that. Also, the National Weather Service would like to hear about that. We'll tell you more about how and where you can send in information to them. If you'd like to check out more about that, that's all available on my social media channels. So your information participating in what's called citizen science might be able to help the meteorologists and scientists study what happened during thunderstorms and how to apply that to future thunderstorms. So your information could help out on a lot of things like that at this time. Beautiful sunset in progress. If you've got any pictures out there from that, we'll love to show them again on social media or also again on News Channel 3 at 10 or on Daybreak. Low temperatures tomorrow morning, not all that low in and around the area for this time frame. And again, something we're just not going to be seeing for the next couple of days is going to be anything in the way of the potential of cooler weather. So if you have anything out there that involves cool conditions and making certain that you stay a little bit on the cool side to make certain you stay safe across much of the area. Definitely want to make sure that you've got that taken care of, if at all possible, because we'll be looking at some very warm conditions over the course of the next few days. Into overnight, again, can't rule out the possibility of some thunderstorms into and around uh, portions of the Mid-South area. That's going to be, again, the potential for overnight uh, at this point in time. Devin, Ashley, Norman, anything wrong with the MLGW outage map? Uh, doesn't look like it's coming up here could be overloaded. They might be having some technical connection issues, but we've not seen anything on Twitter at this point in time, so don't have anything exactly going on for there. Somerville, hot, 85 degrees. Brittany Hamilton, thank you very much uh, for that one. Nice afternoon in Brownsville. Erica Jane Lewis, thank you very much for that. And everybody else stopping on by for this evening. Again, give us some ideas to what's going on. Brandy Merriman, tornado chances, slim and getting slimmer, but not zero at this time. We'll talk about that coming up here. Ken, please, how long is it going to be hot? November sounds pretty good to me at this point in time. Doesn't look like we'll be seeing too much of anything out there in the way of very nice cool weather anytime soon. Sunset light over the Ole Miss campus, looking at the Student Union from Crosby Hall and across the trees of the Grove toward the lights of Vaught-Hemingway Stadium in the background. Right at sunset right now, taking a look around the area of downtown Memphis. And got to admit, those Mississippi River sunsets are pretty nice out there, showing again some very calm conditions for right now. Not too much to show in the way of thunderstorm development just yet. We'll take a look at storm tracker radar in just a little while. Shelby Farms, if you'd like to get some astronomical viewing in at the Visitor Center starting, well, about nine minutes ago, the Memphis Astronomical Society is setting up their telescopes on the lawn of the Visitor Center just out of range here right on Farm Road. Beautiful view of Hyde Lake and sunset taking place for tonight. But if you'd like to look through a few telescopes, Shelby Farm tonight from 8 o'clock until until whenever the viewing conditions or everybody decides to wrap up again. More information again about that on my social media pages for more details there. Storm Tracker 3S radar 
very quiet at this time, although we are seeing a few showers popping up into and around portions of northern Mississippi earlier this evening. Again, not that much going on for right now. Back to the east of the portions of the area of eastern Arkansas, some developing showers taking place here. But beyond that, just not really seeing much of anything. And then back to the north of the Tennessee-Mississippi state line, right where those thunderstorms came through today, we do have some more powerful thunderstorms taking place back around Savannah, some more rumbles of thunder taking place there, east of Selmer and right around the Tennessee River, all that moving its way to the east. So we don't have, again, a lot of activity in the Mid-South, but we do have at least some showers and thunderstorms trying to pop up from time to time. And again, that's what we'll see throughout the rest of the evening. One or two of those could still be strong to severe, so that's going to be the main thing that we get in the way of any stronger weather for right now. Paulette Morrow, 80 three in New Bern, Tennessee. Uh, thank you very much for that report out there for right now. Uh, Jessica Witt Bateman, any storms for Biloxi, Mississippi this weekend? Well, as of right now, uh, not seeing too much of anything down that general direction, but uh, again, could wind up with a little bit of activity coming up as we get that Gulf breeze bringing in some more of that moisture, and that could stir up some more thunderstorms as well. Heaviest thunderstorms by far has been into northern parts of Alabama. We have had a few tornado warnings. As a matter of fact, we do still have a tornado warning taking place right now uh, into and around just to the east of the Tennessee River into northwestern parts of Alabama. That's for north central Lauderdale County in Alabama and a small portion of one county in Tennessee not being listed here at this point in time. So we are getting some tornadic weather here, but limited, fortunately. So good news on that. And as of right now, again, no watches or warnings in effect for the Mid-South and have not had any until uh, since about 845 this morning. So there hasn't been too much of anything left over of that for the time being. But if you're heading east or southeast, this might be the area you wind up with some activity coming up a little bit later on. Beyond that, again, things are quiet for the period of time for right now. That's the strongest storms. A little bit of activity going on back to our north and west. But beyond that, things are quiet down toward the coast for Jessica Witt Bateman. And thanks to William Phillips for the compliments on the uh, sunset at this time. Kathy Warfield, Forest Hill South Cemetery. Uh, had a fire today. That's available on our website, and we'll talk about that coming up on News Channel 3 at 10. Milwaukee, Charles Edward Stanton, 64 degrees. Say hello to a friend of mine working up there, uh, Rick Bloom, your statehouse reporter up around that general area, maybe over in Madison this week. I'm not too sure. Any severe weather in South Haven, Stephen Chambers. We'll take a look at that coming up here uh, in just a little bit at this point in time. And again, everybody else checking in, thanks a lot for stopping on by. Temperatures on WeatherNet 3, again, it's been warm. I wouldn't say it's been blazingly hot, but we do have some temperatures out there pushing 100 degrees. Even though you've got numbers in the 80s, it still feels like triple digits because of all that humidity out there. The more humidity that's in the air, the harder it is for that sweat to leap off your body, evaporate, and take the heat with it through evaporational cooling. And this is what we wind up with, with some pretty steamy conditions out there. But fortunately, not seeing a lot of those numbers out there at least yet. Next several days, that's a different story. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Again, some of those could be borderline strong to severe as we go throughout the rest of the evening uh, for tonight and into early tomorrow morning. Most of the activity looks like it's going to be along and south of I-40. Tomorrow, the winds turn out of the southwest, and that escorts in a lot of winds and moisture, more importantly, from off the Gulf of Mexico. That's going to raise the humidity levels, and it's also going to raise the possibility of more fuel for more thunderstorms. But there's not going to be a great trigger for these things, so we'll have the humidity, we'll have the heat, the only thing we're really going to have to get the thunderstorms going is the sunshine that's going to bake the lower levels of the atmosphere, make things a little bit more unstable, and that could develop into more thunderstorms, but not great chances. Best chances for thunderstorms will be into overnight, and that should just about do it. Again, for anything organized, high temperatures tomorrow in the lower to mid-90s, back in the 80s by News Channel 3 at 10 tomorrow. Here's the news from the Storm Prediction Center. This is a brand new forecast, less than 15 minutes old, and over the last about almost 24 hours, this yellow slight risk polygon was covering over all of the Mid-South area. Now that has been reduced 
to outside the viewing area, north areas of Alabama, southern central middle Tennessee, and an extreme northeastern part of Mississippi. The rest of the area here, this bright green shaded category, that is again a marginal threat, a lesser threat here, possible but lesser. And again, that slight risk category over here, a little further away from us. So the best possibility of severe weather will be over this direction. Marginal threat, it's possible, but again, not hugely likely. And again, that potential will carry on into the rest of the evening. We'll continue to watch that, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3. And over the next few days, I don't think we'll be seeing too much in the way of severe weather. We more than likely is going to be seeing about the possibility of some more heat and humidity uh, out there for right now. C.T. Thompson is the storm over now. Uh, that depends on your location. Again, east of here, we're going to be seeing more potential severe weather. And there could be some strong to severe weather here, but less likely here more likely here in the yellow slight risk category. Rest of the next few days, outside of an isolated thunderstorm tomorrow, just not that much going on with temperatures hovering back around 90 degrees. Lower to mid-90s as we head into around the later portion of this next week. And again, maybe an isolated thunderstorm, a less than 10% coverage chance out there. Best possibility this week looks like it'll be Thursday. 20% coverage chance, that's not great, but that could ruin a golf game or vacation Bible school outing or family reunion or whatever you've got going on outside. Definitely want to pay attention to the forecast, and we'll keep you updated on that over the next several days. Mid to upper 90s as we head into late June, early July. Could be looking at some pretty steamy temperatures out there. Highs in the mid 90s. Lows only dropping into the mid-70s, so again, not looking at anything even closely related to cool over the next few days. Ken, please, thank you very much for those kind words. Thank you to everybody else uh, for joining us into and around the Mid-South area, wherever you're joining us from. And remember to drop your location. And if you have any pictures, please let us know. We'd love to see more about those pictures, sunset pictures especially. And we'll be bringing you more of those coming up here as much as we can on social media. So stay tuned for more on that. Now, for some of the weather pictures we've had up there over the last few days, from Mississippi Storm Center, or MS Storm Center, I guess, from Chuck Wicker from Oxford, Mississippi, earlier this week. Nice little what looks kind of like a beaver tail or a failed tornado, basically. Kind of that tail section coming out that could have been a low-level rotation, but it doesn't look like it really amounted to much of anything, so it has that stretched-out tail appearance right there and not really much more than that. So a great capture out there, but not by much of anything else. Also a nice lightning shot from Mr. Wicker around the area of Oxford, Mississippi from a few days ago. If you are going to take storm pictures, that's great, but remember, safety first and safety always. Do not risk your life for a piece of video or for a picture, it's not worth it. If you can get a good picture from being safe, that's wonderful. Do not risk your neck or any other part of your anatomy for a severe weather shot. Let's all be safe out there just to be on the safe side. From this morning, Pulse Suzanne. Nice view from around the area of South Haven as those storms came on through. Tree limbs down, some power lines, it looks like back in the distance, and some very heavy rainfall and a limb coming down on a vehicle out there, and that was pretty common for this morning. Still some debris getting picked up, so again, might want to watch what's over down the roadway from you just to be on the safe side out there as we look for, the again, that cleanup to continue. Some of that was on the interstate today. A lot of debris left over from those storms, so might want to watch just going around out there in the next couple of days as those storms hang on from the area for right now. Got any pictures, weather pictures from around the Mid-South or wherever you happen to be checking in from tonight, please let us know. Again, you can find me on all these social media networks, and we'll be glad to have you along out there. We'll be getting a much more tropical air mass into the Mid-South as we go into the rest of the forecast. Not much of anything developing in the Gulf, the Caribbean, or the Atlantic at this point in time. So good, as of, so far so good. And into the next several days, according to the National Hurricane Center, we don't have much of anything developing at this point in time, partly because we've got some decently cold waters in the Atlantic off of Africa, and also because partly we've got some pretty good amounts of dust from the Sahara coming out over the waters of the Atlantic. So it's keeping things from warming up, and that dust layer can do a very good job of quashing any storm development out there and do a very good job of shading the ocean surface keeping things a little bit cooler. So for right now, we see little, if anything, developing in the Atlantic. Best possibility of anything developing would be in the Gulf or the Caribbean 
or the Western Atlantic. And as of right now, that just doesn't seem to be happening. So, so far, so good when it comes to news about the tropics at this point. And hopefully it stays that way into the rest of the season. Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 pick up my complete forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. And we'll keep you updated on there. We'll have a complete update on the forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Also an update on all the day's news and sports. And we'll keep you updated on the potential for severe weather as well as we go into the rest of the forecast for the rest of the weekend. Again, hopefully things staying quiet, but we'll let you know about that coming up here in about another hour and 40 minutes, so stay tuned for more on that. Questions, concerns, ideas, anything you'd like to see on here but have not been able to see just yet, we'd love to know what you think. We'd love to know about getting it on here for you to take a look at on our weather blog. Just email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. And again, would love to have your comments. I'll pass them along to my supervisors, and we'll see what we can do about getting your requests on here. More satellites, more climate data, more worldwide weather, whatever you want to take a look at, just let me know, and we'll be glad to consider that here on our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Stay tuned for more, again, coming up on News Channel 3 at 10, and stay tuned for any severe weather out there. We'll bring you updates on that on News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the evening. Thanks for joining us for tonight's Weather Overtime.